How we going, guys? Um, a lot of people have asked me how I set up my dual PC stream and gaming PCs, um, so I thought I'd do a little video on how I use NDI and Multiplicity. Uh, mind you, this is my first video, so cut me a bit of slack. I'm not going to edit it or anything like that. I'm just going to do it on the fly. So, as you can see, I've got a uh, two PCs. The top one is my gaming PC, which only has an i5 6600K. Planning on updating it sometime this year. And my stream PC is a, uh, a used workstation that I bought off eBay. It has a uh, dual Xeon X5690 processors in it. Uh, I, I do X264 compression. It's awesome. Uh, I only paid $450, I think, Australian for it. Uh, it does a cracking job so for anyone out there that wants to get into streaming or just showcasing what they do I highly recommend it you have a, you have an absolute ball doing it so without further ado uh, for anyone that wants to piss off with uh, obviously the two keyboard two mouse setup uh, this is what I do so first things first if I close these two down um, I use a program called Multiplicity. Right? It's awesome. Everything works in it. You can send audio from one PC to the other. Um, so it really does help with um, getting notifications across to your headset if your headset is plugged into another PC. So obviously first things first. It's by a company called Stardock. Digital KVM switch. You can try it free, which is really good. But if you do want to buy it, which I did, you've got three options, obviously. Um, the second one I probably should have got because you can drag and drop any size files from one PC to the other. But for now, you know, I can use the keyboard and mouse across two PCs flawlessly. I've never really run into any issues, um, so yeah, gives you your audio sharing, everything else that you need. So, download the free trial, um, and on both PCs, and then yeah, install it in. But before you do that, make sure you set your networks on both PCs. Yeah, shit, yeah, to uh, private otherwise it will not work so once you've got it set to private install the software and uh, I'll try and see if I can actually I'll deactivate one so you can see like right now you can see me go from my gaming PC to my uh, stream PC the other screen on my stream PC which has got OBS set up at the moment so you can see everything so what I'll do is I'll uh, maybe disconnect this one out. So right now I've taken it out and you'll see now I cannot get across to any of those other screens. So obviously you're going to have to do this if, at the start with two keyboards, two mice. So once you've scanned the network, it'll come up hopefully with this put it in alignment to like obviously to the side you'll be asked for a password and as you can see here they both line up once you've done all that it should connect uh, <laughs> I'm not, I'll try it actually I'll pull the password out uh, do that no because it's already there because it's already saved it doesn't matter it should work uh, it works straight away from me so yeah once you've done all that you can now access, uh, oh, wait a minute, the other thing, yeah, after that, go to your audio, this is my gaming PC, receive audio from other PCs, oop, wrong button, this is my streaming PC, audio, send audio to another computer, so as you can see right now, on stream PC, I could load up Spotify, Go to 
get some copyright free music so I don't get ass raped by old YouTube. And we'll just play a little music. Now, you can hear that because it's on my stream PC and it picks up desktop audio straight away. But I can actually hear that through my headphones and that is got, and that's plugged into my uh, gaming PC. So, awesome stuff. All right. Next things first. To get your setup done across to sending audio and video. So, the next one is called uh, New Tech NDI. Awesome software. Go to the website. I'll leave all descriptions in the link. Uh, then go to NDI Tools. Download the NDI tool, tools. Then from there, download the SDK. Because without it, you will not be able to find your sources. Same thing again. I think it actually asks you to put an email on that in. Um, and from there, they'll email you a link to download the files. So once you've got it all downloaded, install them on both PCs. And then uh, I'll show you how easy it is to... Um, Add the sources. So from here, ooh, do, 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 we'll just bloody turn that off, that off. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, my OBS decided to uh, have a fucking hissy fit and shit itself. All right, as you can see, I'm back. I'll uh, have to edit this. When I said I wasn't going to edit it, I'm going to look like a proper deal. All right, so now that you've got NDI tools and everything installed, I probably should have set up another one here, which I'll... No, I won't have to do that here. So in your task, in your start bar, you should have uh, NDI tools. From here, what I do is I grab the scan converter and I move it to my taskbar, just so I don't have to go through all that crap. All right, so if I close this down from here, you click NDI, NDI will work. I probably should have put up the other monitor because uh, I'm gonna have to add that in now, which I didn't want to, but yeah, okay, NDI. Uh, I'm not gonna name it. Done, all right, from here, this is a lot easier now. Um, so down the bottom, click your little arrow up and you'll have um, the NDI icon here once you've clicked it here. From here you right click it, check your click your frame rate, so 60p or 60 frames, go back in, um, capture settings offset with mouse pointer, you can have that off anyway, you've got audio sources, video sources, all the other stuff, all the good stuff. I have to check on the other piece. So hold on. Yeah, so it should automatically just scan it and find it. So from there, you uh. All right. So from there, what you do is you go to obviously. Add new source. With the SDK installed, you'll get this uh, NDI source available after you've activated the scan converter and set up your frame rate. Um, and this will this is how you get your video. So, add new source. So, if you've got a gaming PC with one or two monitors, maybe you use one monitor for your gaming and the other monitor. If you're streaming, you might be putting like your your restream chat or Fastbot or Discord, whatever you want on that screen. If you want it, you're not going to show it, but 
it's I'm just letting you know it'll be there. So I'm going to call this gaming PC. I'll add the new source. It'll come up with um, this this box. From here, you can uh, choose your sources. Now I've got four screens, so I get four sources. So this here is my gaming PC screen. It should come up with a preview. Sometimes it's a bit slow. There you go. So if I go to do that, there you go. There's my gaming PC screen. So leave high as so a bandwidth, leave sync internal. Don't do, I don't touch none of this. Hit OK. So now you can see that I've got my gaming PC. You can see I can move my mouse on my gaming PC. I can open Steam. Uh, I'll open up a game. Um, probably not the best game to open because there's no audio from the start. Probably should open up Counter Strike or something like that. Or a video that was meant to be short is going to turn out fucking long. But as you can see, the game loads. I'll join in, and what you'll see from here is that there'll be no audio. Hopefully, if I go across to here, there should be no audio, just my microphone audio. Just you taking a bit of the bloody load. Uh, excuse me. You're fucking gagging me, aren't you? Yeah. This needs a bit of a clean up, I think. So now, game's loaded. You should have no audio of the game. You should be able to hear nothing. All right? So if I hit that, we'll actually, we'll go to here. So next thing's first, back into old NDI. Uh, I should probably turn that one off. Because I don't need it. Uh, audio source, system audio, and then from there, um, I'll minimize the screen back down, back into NDI, add new source, NDI source, add source, you can call this now gaming PC, if I can spell, audio, uh, add new source, now from here, It's disappeared because that was the original one that I was using. Alright, so we'll yog you on. Silence. Go back to webcam audio source. Put that as system audio. Cancel. Try this again. Because you're already there. It takes a bit of screwing around just to find the sources, but once you've worked it out, she's all good. So now the audio's come up. You can add that. It's a big blue screen. Drag it to the bottom because obviously you don't care about seeing it. You just want to hear it. So now if I go back to my gaming PC, open up the game. You should be able to hear the audio. I can see it bouncing around in this in uh, OBS. Um. There. So, you've got video source going into OBS now. You've got an audio source going into OBS now. Yeah, everything's hunky dory. Um, I'll uh, close you down again. Yeah, so I can change this out now and I can go to. Oh, maybe I'll show you a notification. So, what I'll do is I'll go to my proper scenes. <laughs> I don't know which one it is. Not that one. If this frees up, I'm going to lose my shit. Because it's never done it before. What the hell is going on here?
Oh, how you go? Yeah. Oh, my streaming PC seems to be playing up a little bit. It needs, OBS has been, Streamlabs has been playing up the last week or so, so I apologise for that. Now, I'm in my um, my streaming profile now, uh, so I can go be right back and uh, starting soon and all the other good stuff. So if I go to my live and just to show, like, oh, well, you don't have to, it's going to be hard to prove it. But yeah, right now if I hit a, a replay a sub, um, so I can hear all that now. So while you're playing, you'll get your, your notification through the Multiplicity app and you'll hear it. Um, now I also use an independent microphone off my headset, which I actually bought a, uh, a little mixer. It's a Behringer Q502 USB um, and another microphone, obviously, uh, just a Niwa, what is this thing, NW800. To me, it, it's got awesome audio. I don't sound muffled or anything like that. Uh, I think it cost me 40 bucks. It comes with the microphone, it comes with two pop filters, the actual boom arm. Um, I just bought an XLR plug, plugged that into my mixer. The mixer's USB. The mixer goes into my stream PC along with my webcam and everything else. And then from there, I have actually moved almost every program that I use when I play onto my stream PC, which is Discord. Um, Erilyn, so from Discord, I can hear everyone talking to me through the Multiplicity app. I talk directly into that one. Um, obviously, if you want in-game chat, you'd have to use a microphone for that. Um, but then you might get an echo, but you shouldn't. But I don't do it. I play with a lot of my mates, so I don't really need to talk to plebs that I don't know. Uh, so I really hope this video is helpful. Um, any questions, do not hesitate to ask. I'll reply as soon as I can. Um, and from there, hopefully, um, if you run a two PC and don't want to spend big absorbent amount of money on um, audio setups and bloody capture cards and all that, realistically, all I've spent is $140 on this microphone and the mixer. The rest is done through software. So I don't know what capture cards go for at the moment. I think they're pretty expensive, the Elgados and stuff like that. I stream at 1080p at 68 uh, FPS. Um, my stream PC right now, while doing this PC, is working at 25% CPU usage while recording at 1080p, 60 FPS. Uh, during game, I think it might get up to 50, but that's everyone's prerogative how they want to encode the video, whether it's CPU or GPU. You might have a spare GPU around. I'm pretty sure if you have a, a spare quad core that might, I think it's best to be hyper-threaded CPU in another PC sitting around from an older generation or say even just a, if you want to upgrade to or buy an AMD 2400G system because it's got integrated graphics. I'm pretty sure those CPUs encode off 264 very good as well and very cheap to buy. You could probably set up a PC with, even with eight gigs of RAM, you don't need much more than that to, to stream off. You might get away with maybe, I know in American terms, but Australia, maybe 600 bucks. You could buy a PC, which is fully upgradable. You could probably put another GPU in it and play on it. Um, but yeah, I really hope this video was helpful. I'm going to have to edit this motherfucker now, which shits me, because I don't really have the software to do that. Uh, but yeah, any any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks for uh, if you've watched this. I hope I've helped you. Cheers, and I'll see you out there.